Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we're gonna have a look at the punk from Feedback Modules. Feedback Modules is a small company from Bucharest, Romania. And punk is a very interesting distortion module. It is 6 HP wide and comes with two different types of distortion. Number one is based on a classic guitar pedal distortion fuzz with a switchable diode or MOSFET distortion. Number two is a FET preamp based on a classic circuit of a mini portable cassette recorder and mixer combo from the 80s. Both circuits have their own gain control. You can use only one circuit or mix them together as you like. The two distortion circuits are followed by a Baxendahl two-band equalizer, which lets you control bass and treble. There is a knob to control the input level, and a knob called blend, which lets you mix the clean signal with the distorted one. This is also referred to as wet and dry, where the wet signal is the one with the effects, in this case the distortion, and the dry signal is the clean signal, without any effects. Last but not least, the in and the output. I will put the 2HP plug through the punk, because you can hear the distortion very well on Corpus strong algorithm based modules, and also the 808 bass drum from Tip Top Audio. But before we do this, you know I like to share a little extra. And in this video, it is the Baxendahl equalizer. What is a Baxendahl equalizer? Well, there was a guy named Peter Baxendahl, born 1921, in England. He was working on a bass and treble control circuit, which he first released in 1952. If you have ever owned a hi-fi amplifier, you might remember that there was a knob for bass and one for treble. Often there was a Baxendahl equalizer behind it, also with guitar amplifiers. It's quite a simple but also very neutral equalizer compared to parametric ones. The Baxendahl EQ comes with a low shelf and a high shelf filter. The starting position is in the middle. Now if you turn the potentiometer clockwise, it will boost the frequencies. If you turn it counterclockwise, it will cut the frequencies. So you can boost the low frequencies if you like to have more bass, or cut the low frequencies if you think there is too much bass. Same goes for the high frequencies. Let me show you this. So here we boost and cut the low frequencies. And here we boost and cut the high frequencies. On classic Baxendahl EQs used in hi-fi audio equipment, there is usually a fixed value set for the low and the high frequency. Today there are also Baxendahl EQs used in music studios, for mixing and mastering. They often allow you to choose the frequency. Alright, I hope I could show you what a Baxendahl equalizer is. Now let's get back to the punk module and hear it in action.
That was it for the punk from feedback modules. I like it because it comes with different types of distortion and also the Baxendall EQ is a big plus for me because it lets you shape the sound even more. What do you think about this module? Let me know in the comments. And if you like my videos and want more, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see you next time on the...